ginger ale. Hi. It's one of those small lads. Uh, welcome to early ish stream. A little, a little earlier tonight. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because it's Friday the 13th still. And I wanted to get some World of Horror in, you know, because I like to time my streams with real world events. Can't help it. We're gonna do some World of Horror, and then I'm probably gonna take a break. And then after that, maybe like, you know, an hour, kind of reassess what I'm doing for the rest of the night, and then maybe do some VR. Because, um, there's some stuff that I might, I might be streaming some, some VR stuff later. So I just have to see what I'm gonna do, and, and you know, set up and everything. So, let's start with World of Horror. Is spooky Friday the 13th. Man, Halloween just ended, and now we're doing spookiness again. Okay, well, what do we want to do for colors? This is the only game I have to choose. Like, what do I want my eyes to see for the next... Uh, for the next hour to two hours, and I like that about it. Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? I, did I use this one previously? You considered it? Uh, I like it. I mean, it's, you know, green. It's the color of my, my people. Did, have I ever done this one? Okay, so I have some choices now, and I think I've done that one. I just don't know if I want to do anything too bright. Or too dark. Okay, well, we've run out of choices. I've unlocked a lot of stuff last time. Could do this one. No. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Someone in chat said, did anyone hit the one million waste yet? Twitch gives me that info. Look at that. Four. That's the Hall of Fame. I didn't even know there was an option for that, and then I saw it, and I was very pleased. So, we're gonna do customize. Um... Yeah, I don't think this this color scheme is going to work all out all that great for me. Do I want to do all of these? Yeah, we're going to do all those. Randomize. Menmo. Something strange is happening in our town here on Friday the 13th. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth aeons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. So, I've won the last three runs I've done. Um, some of it through sheer luck, a lot of it through chat's help, and, you know, just 
getting, like, good characters to start with, I think. Hunted by the cult. Solving mysteries reduce more doom, but you get more unique combat encounters. I don't think I'm gonna do a background today, because I'm probably gonna fail. So... And I will be changing the, um... Oh, fuck. How do I go back? God damn it. This happens a lot. I was like, oh, what button do I press? Continue. Locked into a choice. Press Q to reset. Oh. Alright. Well, no worries. I don't like that color scheme anymore. It's just too... I kind of like this one, though. A little purple and, and orange. I think I'm okay with this. It's not too displeasing on the eyes. But... <clears throat> let's continue, let's randomize. That was- the, the random seed was Ligma. Okay, so... Who do we play as? So, um, there's... Kiri, Minami, Knowledge, and Strength. Have I used this character yet? No, right? Maybe we could start with this. Get knowledge, but we lose strength, but starts with one random spell. Yeah. Aiko is really good. Haru is strength, but you need to smoke lots of cigarettes. I I'm staying away from that character. Smoking is for fools. Uh, Mizuki, plus charisma, minus strength, but starts with a random ally. Koji we used, and Mimi we used. I'm gonna start with Kirai. Kiri? Kiri. Um, and it'll just be regular World of Horror today. Uh, difficulty? Skeptic? Initiate? Nope. Cultist. Continue. Old gods are awakening. Alright, now we're gonna, you know, try to go against... Eternal web, you can't run from combat. Oh, fuck that. Both your damage and your enemies is increased. Uh... Well, we fought this one already. I think I fought the mirror. Resting increases doom penalty. We could do, um... If Thato, if Thato is the only one you didn't do, you only did telescope so far? No, 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 I've, I've done, uh, telescope and spider. Resting increases doom penalty, we'll do this. The double damage one is good for one round kill characters. Uh, probably not gonna happen here, so you know what, we'll fight. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue that has recently been discovered, it's currently waiting in the Museum of 000, redacted, for its long-awaited premiere. Hmm. Both you and your enemies deal extra damage. Now, I unlocked a lot of new things last time, so... Hopefully we'll see a lot of new events Still not sure about this um, color palette. I I'm having some difficulty finding a palette that I really like. Is this too bright? Shiba? Shiba works for me. Well, will it? We'll get used to it. I just want to be able to, like, actively read everything on the screen and enjoy. So, um, yeah, early stream a little bit tonight because I'm gonna be, um, later on taking a short break and figuring out if I'm gonna do some VR stuff and, and also which VR stuff.
What is this? City history? Choose up to two different additional actions per location for this playthrough. The black spot is a new location, but you have to get rid of one. Oh, this is a vending machine. Alright, now screw it. Let's just go home. I'm gonna just play what I know. I've only played this game three times previously, so I need to do what I know. Some of our readers are reporting a strange tall man dressed in white taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Works for me. Still in sailor outfit. Uh, this to me is a sailor outfit. Um, Vinny, if Second Life wasn't banned on Twitch, would you stream it? I'm... I'm over it, honestly. Why is it banned? Um... It's because of... of, uh... Poop. And sex. <laughs> um, okay. I think we're ready. Let's start a new mystery. Uh, which mysteries? So we know that the, there's gonna be fucked up. So there's spine-chilling story of school scissors. This fucking found footage thing again. The Moonlight Sailors, Rotten Report of a Rancid Ramen, and um, Vicious Verses of a Violent Vigil. So two new ones today. I'll start with the scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decide to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked women, woman once and for all. It's the worst thing that could happen. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true to stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. How am I going to get, um... a weapon in the school? Oh yeah, Wharf Please now exists. <laughs> it's Wharf being destroyed by a plastic hollow barrel. Check out the lockers. Brimstone. What's that? What is that? Oh. Baseball bat. Can I get that? You find a new item, wooden bat. Well, it's a strength weapon, but I can still, you know, use it. Something. You need a tiny key to open this locker. Yeah, I mean, it's better than punching. These barrels have no honor! Explore the school. With the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. A study. Near closing time, you stumble upon a curious article on the last page of a local newspaper. You copy the author's name. Along with the address. Minus 3% doom, plus 10 experience. I have now have negative 2% doom. That's actually really cool. 
You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Forgotten specimen. Uh, chance to hit is 60%. Minus two reason. Alright, I'm gonna lose some reason, but I do get to kill. Wait, what's that? Lump of flesh. Yeah. Use plus five stamina, but adds a new status. It undulates slowly. Ugh. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Peek outside. To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Nah. New achievement unlocked. You shouldn't risk that again. That looked like crumb from Ah Real Monsters. Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever the other by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. I'm gonna sneak dexterity check success. You succeed in grabbing the backpack and return to the staircase, leading back to our world. Plus 10 experience, thank god. You found the blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Redraw? Let's check out the diary. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. I've hidden the cla candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. So, is that... Should I redraw? I should probably redraw this. Was the design? The design in the book doesn't matter. So I just have to keep doing this until I get it right. It does. I see the small star. Yep, now I got it. That looks correct to me. It changes between runs. Oh, okay. Alright, um, we need to explore more. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Take a peek, horrified. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. I don't know. I like monoliths. They're cool. 
The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. You enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. I have a chance to find another weapon, perhaps. This is a tough... Knife is dex. Okay, we don't want that then. Um, first aid. Failure. Oh man, I have good knowledge too, and that was a failure. Could it have moved somewhere else? You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Wait. What's, what's that? You take a step back as a writhing, amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Look at its three faces. Ish. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is your only chance. Twitching and twisting. The demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? So this does a lot of damage. My chance to hit is very bad. I cannot attack. And defend. boss has other forms in different situations. Here we go. Gotta hope for the best. I can two-cycle this if I get lucky. Unlucky as fuck just then, chat. Very unlucky. Damn. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Scissor woman is gone for good. Or is it? You shudder. Knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the eldritch being. Slit mouth. Oof. Minus one charisma, minus one strength. Ah. Uh. Dangerous bands of riders are gathered around downtown area. The police are hopeless. Right. Um. We need to rest up, and then maybe go to the fucking hospital. Local police are helpless as more and more victims with their throats slashed turn up in the downtown area. I think probably be best to recover some reason. I still have negative doom, which is great. You have regeneration spell. Gain two stamina, cost one reason. Emergencies only. Um, we can do the sailor one, it's not that difficult. I've read this three times already, or two, twice. What ending did I not get? 
Vinny, how do you misread a number? I don't know. Did I misread something? Hmm. So anyway, um, yeah, there's missing sailors, dude. Soon the ocean will take them all. Uh, so I need to, I need to f go to, sh should I get my face fixed? I should do that, right? How much money do I have? Five. Might be a good idea to get my face fixed. And that would be, um, doctor's office, yeah? Or is it far? It's... Got some painkillers. Could touch the skull. Uh, the doctor says, how can I help you? Slit mouth. Treatment minus one funds. Alright, well. That was nice. Stable condition. No problem. Just a minor injury. Having a completely fucked up... Like, scissor gash. Put a little ice on it. So there's a steak knife here. It's uh, it's dexterity only. What's the knowledge weapon that I need? any you want decks yeah I can get the steak knife I can sell the bat scalpel from pharmacy or bone saw if you've unlocked it you can't get any knowledge weapons right now okay uh, and oh you buy it at the pharmacy all right Leave it for throwing. Good idea. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Well, uh, uh, discard? That sucks. Well, wait a minute. I did that in a previous ending, right? I don't know how to get the best ending, I guess. Uh, seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Let's research. We are smart, after all. I got a spell, but I lose reason. The notes lying nearby tell of an ancient civilization. Excuse me. You already got the best ending? Oh, am I yachting this early? So of an ancient civilization's an unspeakable horror, you've managed to learn the incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. So I got a, a new spell, which is invisibility. Until the end of com of the current mystery, there is no doom penalty for escaping from combat. Well, I can gain reason back by forgetting that, so that's fine. Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing beside the fact that the fisherman had wife had had wife. You need timeline B for ending C. I don't know what that means, but. Something is wrong. You don't see anyone on the street. And you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Okay, my reason is injured. Timelines unlock different endings and events. Okay. So we go to find the fisherman's wife. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just a second ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Let's study them. 
knowledge check success. Time to level up. Two additional spell slots. Plus one luck. I might do the luck. Or charisma. I think luck. And reason recovery. Or I can get dex. And forget the spell. I'm gonna play a little dangerous. I'm gonna get dex. For my weapon. Jadzia dex. We can rest now a little bit. I can afford some doom. We had a lot of luck with doom earlier, so I'm just gonna rest twice. That feels like it's not a bad idea. Um, Vinny, have you listened to the new ACDC yet? No, I listened to their albums from the 80s. So, so yes, I have heard the new ACDC. I, you know I like the ACDC music when they say their balls is big. So I'll probably listen to it at some point. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Before you can do anything, however... So this is minus three stamina. 17 HP. Oh. Woo! Vinny, they have even bigger balls now. Yeah, droopy. Okay, so... Let's see. Four. Four, four. It's, it's not enough to kill. Could do a brace and, like, a fight. And we missed. Uh-oh. Throw. I need 16 damage. Well, well, I say 16 because I have 4. I'm doing multiples of 4, right? So I can't just do the 12. I need, you know, I need to hit 4 times. Um... Dodge... Dexterity based. You have the strong attack. I do have the strong attack. Uh... Yeah. I could spam and hope that every attack hits. Hell, luck is on my side. No, it's not. <sighs> Use them painkillers. Someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around hoping to spot one of them. Something gigantic and invisible leaps. Oh, sorry, leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Minus two reason. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between caressing his catch. The beating movements in his arms disturb you. Stop! This is a crime scene. You are halted by a sweaty police officer, played by Tommy Wiseau. Behind him, two other policemen are packing something in black bags. Let's focus. Perception check. You notice something weird. 
all officers have a sh tiny tattoo on their necks. Who are they, and what are they really doing here? They're from Nilbog. After a slow inter interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. Walking on the beach, you discover a giant charred pit. As you wonder what was burned here and why, you hear a cackling sound getting louder, and everything around you getting hotter. It's the Burning Man Festival. It's an easy... Listen, it's an easy joke. Vinny, this guy won't attack if you don't. You can get free improvised weapons if you want. <laughs> yeah, it's a ghost. Can I, like, get the weapons and then discard them? And that'll count? He fights back now. Beware. Try clapping and bowing. Mate, I don't know how to do that. <sighs> I think maybe just best to run. So, the, yeah, there's claps and bows. There's a guide about that. There's prey. There's, uh, sever their ties to our world with the steak knife, which deals four damage. I- it's probably a good idea to just run. This is not looking good. Yeah. You slip out at night and race toward the beach, terrified of what comes next. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink-black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Hark! Triton! Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away. You hear the odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight and is pitch black again. There's nothing to do now. You head home. Weird chant still in your head. Not the best ending, but an ending nonetheless. I had this one already too. C is the C ending is apparently a different timeline, whatever that means. So whatever. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Contaminated water. Uh oh. Well, baths suck now. We are shocked after what she did. Her voice was always so calm. Yes, hello? Is this the five hotline? I'd like... I'd like a new five button. Mine's worn out. Vicious verses of a violent vigil.
You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your granduncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil, as per the client's request. There's an address and the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. Well, what's the worst thing that could happen? So this is the mansion one again. Which ending? I already got the good ending on this one, so I'm just gonna do my best to get whatever. I don't care, I'll get the good one again, I don't mind, whatever. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Perception check failure. Before you realize your wallet is missing, the thief is long gone. God damn it. Hansu-chan? So you find someone. The young woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. You can swear you've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. If you want to pay respects to that old creep, follow the corridor to the right. Oh, right, yeah. There's the ritual. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. God damn it, got a curse. Brain damage? Minus two knowledge, but plus 10% max reason. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your granduncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe the other guests will know. The lunatic is on the grass. Wasn't there a book? As you return to the corridor, you notice another family member has arrived. So we can talk to this lad. Muscular, muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. This pamphlet? Take mine, I don't plan on following it anyway. 9 p.m. is start of vigil. 10 p.m. is pray over the body. Should I fuck this up on purpose? Like to get a different ending? Yeah, all right, sure, I'm gonna fuck it up on purpose. Corpses are strung up on a wire, like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Yep. It's a good thing I got that luck. That is some good luck. Here's the storage room. You shudder, instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself here. Why is a vigil held in a place like this? Blizzard update engine. Oh, I guess Call of Duty... M m more, more of Duty has just finished installing after 12 hours. What is it? What is it? Yep, it's Call of Duty. Yeah. Uh, I got an SSD today. I went to Micro Center and I was looking around. They had a pretty good deal on a crucial M2 SSD. Two terabyte. I now have a new SSD and it basically is just called Games. 
So I'm just moving from Steam and Battle.net and various other places like Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's all going on that one drive. Yeah, it's a two terabyte. It was not cheap. It was over 200 bucks, just over 200 bucks, but it was worth it because now I don't have to fucking think about this again. You know, like, and I already have, like, drives cordoned out for music and stuff, so this is perfect. Oh, for now. For now, but in a couple of years, you know what's gonna happen. Games are all going to be 500 gigs each. But for now, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Sixteen terabyte SSDs for five hundred dollars. What? Where where did you see that? Vinny, I got a four terabyte four months ago, fifty-one bucks. Are you talking about a solid state drive? And also, is it an M2 solid state drive? I think we're talking about different I think we're talking about different um, SSDs. Anyway. I found a meat cleaver in the wardrobe. Wow, it's a strength weapon. Okay, so, plus one reason. Um, what is this chat member? There's a SATA M2 drive and an MVME M2 drive, the latter being the fast one. Yep, mine is NVME M2. So it's good. I'm very happy with it. Um, the investigation can wait. Hot bath is too inviting. Yeah. Plus one reason. Alright. It's midnight, you should go and pray. Yeah. Oh, the body's missing. Overgrown plants is casting an unsettling shadow. Someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. Where is everybody? Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Let's search. Plus item. I got a library book. Use. Plus ten experience. Or I could throw it at an enemy, but I'm gonna get the experience. So there's some good luck. Following a weak, wavering cry, you enter a dark room. Inside, you spot a figure hunched in the corner. You recognize the expensive clothes, but this thing can't possibly be a human. Don't look at me. Akane. It's Akane from earlier chat. Chance to hit 85%. Here we go. May luck be on our side. Oh! Corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You think you can hear other guests somewhere, but should you risk getting lost yourself? Again, I'm just doing this completely wrong. I don't even, I don't even care. Cut the plant down. You cut the bloodthirsty plant. It's a good decision, right? Minus 3% doom. So there's second sight, which is additional damage against ghost and eldritch enemies. Quick thinking is plus one dexterity. I think we're gonna get that. Leadership is charisma, but uh, dexterity is very good. I can get dex and dex. This is now Dexter's laboratory. D 
despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Oh, fuck. You stumble upon Sotomura, furiously scratching his scar. With each motion, he gets a little deeper. With each motion, more blood appears. With each motion, he takes a step towards you. Look at this motherfucker. We're gonna boost these attacks, chat. We're boosting. One cycle. Really good hit chance. That was a disgusting, um... ...thing that we just fought. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Sacrifice the guests. An unseen force leads your hands. You reach for a knife and stab a surprised guest. Conclude the ritual. The price is paid. The voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass, the old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize a tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle. With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. To die and to survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth, and you do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Ending C. It's a new ending. 30 experience, minus 3% doom, reason, stamina. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. Must be radio mast failure. You can't get any signal from the outside world. What is happening? Hmm. Rotten report of a rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? flesh of the gods themselves? Long pig. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Rest up. I have some extra doom I can afford, so I'm gonna rest up twice. Sell some experience to police to get funds? You can do that? <laughs> Is it worth it? I, I have zero funds. I know there's an event where some random asshole is like, Hey, you need money? Eventually, the pact will be sealed and you will get your money. It's 
so... No funds allowed, huh? Yeah. Sell the lump of flesh. That event is unavoidable if it happens, so it would save time to avoid it. You can use Doom for that event. This is tough. Um, I also need to discard some stuff. Again. Vinny, you could even say Funzalo. Uncle Funzalo! I'm just gonna discard... ...the flesh, and then uh, maybe I'll stumble upon another item. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Minus two reason. Charisma check failure. Haunted by nightmares. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter, nor leave. Here he is. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company fortunately specializes in cases like yours. It will gladly help you get back on track, after all. It takes a step closer, and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. <laughs> Which one is Doom? Peace of mind? Yeah. Plus 5% Doom, plus 2 funds. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. See a neighbor. Knock on your friend's door and wait. I'm really busy today. Let's hang out some other time, okay? The fate of the world depends upon this. I'll try two more times to get an item randomly from a thing here, and then if, if not, I'll discard the cleaver. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but you grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. It's a nice man. Does minus four reason. Whack. It seems that you were not the only one wanting to try for yourself. You stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. Fuck it. You sneak up into the alley at the dead of night, gagging, you look inside the restaurant. Waste. It's a vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look like promising samples, though. Wow, pulp and meat. This game knows me. Rancid meat of an unknown source. Ugh. Disgusting. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. Take her home. Plus 10 XP, but minus 2 stamina. Ugh. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Step blood? 
You can smell. Hello, beetle. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. Minus four all? This is more powerful than the old gods. Chance to hit 90%. She's a new character you can get. How, is there a way I can get her? Like, now? You can't get her right now. Her name is Miku, no joke. I, I have a lot of dexterity, I could dodge. Probably not this run. You don't have all the requirements. She's way too strong, I would run. You're not wrong. Ah, oh, man, that's a shame. I, I appreciate the help. I do want to complete this run, but... Yeah, that, I, that wasn't looking good. I, I was leaning more towards running myself. Too much HP, too much damage. Fucking hell. If she- to unlock her, you gotta kill her, do a thing at the pharmacy, and then do another thing in the same run. Shit. It's finally your turn to order. One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. I wanna, uh, buy a, a thing at the dog. So, compass, plus two experience for each investigation... investigated location. Flashlight's always good, plus one perception. But then I'm out of funds again. A random discounted item. Blue gem. Feels cold in your hand. It, uh... I don't understand. A heat wave continues with record temperatures. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. The red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Weren't we just at a ramen shop? Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Confront the stranger. Charisma check failure. Oh, man. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. So we're gonna investigate this ramen now. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. Why sh what should you send to the laboratory? Vile plus meat. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it it's alive. Beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the papers, muttering an excuse and preparing to flee town on the next train. Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no Eldritch Horror to duel. 
Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entrance. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat and then jump back with a yell. As it flexes, it opens a weary eye, grins, and wanders off onto a stubby black on stubby black claws. It really is meat. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. Fuck. Level up. Charisma. Eh. Could re-roll. I don't know if I have enough doom for that. Second sight is good. Additional damage against Ghost and Eldritch. I have been encountering a lot of ghosts. Hey, check it out. More dexterity. Weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Ooh. Last mystery is the uh, found footage one again. At 50% doom, not too bad. You basically have to dedicate a whole run solely to the blue gem in order to do it. Okay. So there's found footage. This this just keeps popping up over and over and over again. But uh, it's a there's a suspicious man and there's an investigator, you know, and stuff. Now, for this, I think I need... Don't I need to... Um, I need the acid. I can't put this in storage? Oh wait, yes I can. Hardware store, but I don't have money for it. I'm hoping I find some money. If I can afford it, eventually I'll get it, but if I can't, it's no problem. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition, unaware of the danger. You, the opening night may prove to be the last night for all of us. Itotu is coming. Or Itotu is coming, and you know the date. Plus 3% doom, plus 10 experience. So there's a village. Um... And, and there's trees that have died. Investigate the mansion twice. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It is bound in human flesh. Burn. Minus 3% doom. Take and sell. Ah, oh, fuck. Suddenly a wall in front of you withers and falls apart, revealing a whole ridden monstrosity. God damn it. Minus three reason. I can get five attacks in, though. Try a dodge. And some attacks. And I just took the reason damage to the face, no problem. So I need... One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. They all missed. They all missed! They all missed! I 
I know it's a 70% chance, but every time? I have negative one reason. I now have holes. I forgot that I had brain damage too, by the way. I have spells, yeah. That was, uh, not worth any of that. That was really bad. You told me to run, I know. I know. Rest one more time. We did. Luckily, this has been a low doom run so far, so I'm still here, still kicking. The only metro line in your town connects the university and science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? Take a ride. Luck check. Success. Even though the metro car is completely empty, you arrive at your station without any problems, saving valuable time. Minus two percent doom. So, we have to go to the village, as we've done three times before this. An old man stops you and invites you into his house. You follow reluctantly, only to be amazed by the number of dusty old sorcery books inside. I can teach you a thing or two about magic, he says. Don't worry about payment, I'm sure we'll work it out in the future. Yes. Luck check, success. Among the nonsense stories the man told you, you've caught one thing that could be the truth. Grow teeth. Adds a new combat action, bite, until the end of this mystery. Cost two stamina. I learned it. You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Search the tent. So, luck check, success. Good luck in a lot of ways on this run. Um, sleeping bag has been torn to shreds. You find a wallet nearby. There's no ID card inside, but you're sure the absence of cash is the least of the missing owner's problems. Plus two funds. Which I'm not going to need now because I can't even go back downtown. I can't get the acid now, right? A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's wall. You can't really decipher them. Um, Oh, wait, no, you can... Oh, you do? Well, where did my reading go? Well, ah. you recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Plus five experience. It is said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into his power. Knowledge check success. Touching it with your hand, you feel a newfound knowledge storming in your mind. Expel evil. Minus 6% doom. One time use only. Costs 2 stamina. I used it. Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. Ya ha ha! It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Pray. Perception check, success. Kneeling by the shrine, you discover a small piece of paper tucked behind the statue. Plus five percent, or percent, plus five experience. 
Good rolls. The rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. I, I have all the endings, but what ending, I wonder, has the best rewards? I don't have acid. Neither option at this point, so we'll just take and run. Uh, which I've done the other endings. Um, holes. More holes are spreading on your body, minus two stamina. So, not being able to deal with it, you run and grab- you take the tapes and run. You wander aimlessly through the woods for a few hours until you're found by a search party. You lead them to the house, but the door to the basement is missing. And I get one more level up before the lighthouse. Self-therapy. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. Charisma. Arcane grasp. I'm just gonna rest up at the lighthouse. So I'm, I'm just gonna get more dexterity. Um, self-therapy. Could re-roll. I could do like one re-roll. Self-therapy is the best perk in the game. Pick reason you might need it. Yeah, but I have plenty of doom. I can sleep up. You could use teeth, then forget. Yeah, that's true. There's a charisma check. Uh... Charisma check in the lighthouse is eight. Leadership plus charisma, that would be eight. Just for that one, um, that one check. I'll, I'll do that. Roads leading out of town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. I can't go to the store now, right? That's totally done. There's only lighthouse. Locks. Okay, now we can rest. Nice. One more. One more. Vinny, you forgot about teeth. I can use it now. Oh, I should have teeth before I healed. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, grab the metal rods. Not enough knowledge, minus three stamina. Uh oh. Find the winding staircase, you find a metal gate. Um, it's locked. We have to risk getting cut by numerous sh glass shards and knives. Dexterity check. We got that. Now forget it for the reason. Yeah, sure. So, um... Scissor Woman, I think, was number two. I don't know. I don't remember. No, 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 no. Was it Scissor Oh my god. I forgot.
correct answer. Following the winding staircase, you stop- wait, wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment. Stole all the clues and newspaper clippings and pinned them here. The more you study them, you discover you can't remember any of them except one. Select the title of a mystery you investigated as the second one. I did the uh, Saga of the Sailors. Second. Okay. You were stopped by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Try to reason with her. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass. It's too late anyway, she whispers again, letting you continue. The delinquent girl nods sadly as you pass her. Done. As the unnatural fog lifts slowly, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You manage to stop the ritual awakening. The eldritch... eldritch... <laughs> the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. 75 minutes, 29 seconds. I solved five mysteries. I saw 22 new events. Encountered 14 new enemies and unlocked four new achievements. A lot of luck. That was it's a good run. Definitely some luck there. Survived generic? Wow, there's that many endings. What the fuck? I don't understand, like... I guess I never lost. So it's just the same ending over and over and over again. Shop. Occult. City history. So, I unlocked some new stuff for next time. If you want a quick end, go into the shop and reroll the inventory. Wait at shop until Doom is 100. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Customize, and we'll just do, like, World of Horror Extended B. Eight additional events and encounters. Okay, so that's all new shit. So it doesn't really matter, I can just choose any character. No. <laughs> Alright. Uh... We'll do this one again. Or any... I, I guess, what do you- what do you recommend? Anything good? That might be entertaining for chat? It doesn't matter. Alright. 
This is gonna be super quick anyway. Also, here's the new stuff, the shop occults. We can remove library and get the occult shop. Oh, I see, I see. So we have to remove like dog. So I'm gonna keep dog, it's two per area, I see. Just gonna start one that we've done already, um, without spending too much time, so I can go to the, uh, shop. Let's take a look at the occult shop real quick. Oh, nice! Glass Eye Ritual Dagger, which is a knowledge weapon. That would have been useful before. Not that the run went bad, but I'm just saying. Um, small chance of recovering reason after defeating an enemy, so that's a cool effect. There's a Ritual Mask. Good at oh oh Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. Lump of flesh again. The glass eye allows you to unlock a new old god. Do I only have to just buy it to unlock the old god, or do I have to complete the run with it? You need a spell? Alright. A week later, a new mysterious flavor of dog treats is released and becomes a huge hit among the dog shopkeepers. Oh, it says here, Suddenly a pair of hairy hands reach out of the shop's window and violently pull you into the darkness. Cause of death, minced and cooked. Well, that's another ending, at least. 21 new events? No. It said I- what? You unlock dog treats for dog discount? You saw that event 21 times, it was new. Uh, you're right. Okay, <laughs> are there any other very quick endings? There are 100% doom endings for each god, stamina and reason, loss endings, and dogs store specific doom endings. The blue gem ending is fast if you do doggo on the suitcase. Die in your own house, what, by resting with the mirror god? I could do doggo first, if you- if that's not too much of a hassle.
Sorry, chat is when I say the word doggo, chat makes me laugh sometimes. Um let's see. Okay, so now I guess really all I have to do is um Extra options lets you switch to timeline B. Okay, good to know. Vinny, wrong god. <clears throat> what, what am I doing? Mirror or... Oh, oh, because they want... I was doing the doggo ending, chat. Imagine being Mimi, starting your investigation, and then just exploding. Exactly. So there's an ending just by resting. Oh fuck, I already- I didn't do this mystery, this is a new one. Dog treats. They're made of my previous character. Sleeping for days on end. Nice. The horrible god snatched almost everyone from your city. Weeks later, you and a group of survivors have managed to cover all mirrors of a building you currently reside in. When you see your reflection in your lover's eyes, it takes you a while to realize the gut-wrenching implications. You start to scream. Goizo has found another way in. <laughs> Why am I getting, like, multiple endings? <laughs> okay, so I need to... I'm gonna do the doggo ending real quick, if possible. Which is just... I don't know how I got 124% doom, but... What is doggo ending? I don't know, how long would it take? I wanted to take a little break before VR and reassess and figure out if I'll be streaming in a bit. Doggo ending is quick. Alright, so we'll try it. Doggo. I'll need help with this one, though. It's a bit random, but quick. That's- that's fine. And it doesn't matter which god I choose for the doggo. <laughs> 
All right, so let's let's try it. Let's see if we can get this ending. So, I'm just gonna go to a mystery I've already done, so we don't have to... Well, we've done all of these, actually, so, uh, we'll just do... This one. <laughs> Shop for items. Um, I'm assuming discount item means blue gem, right? It's a scalpel. It's an empty bottle. It's an empty bottle. I could trade it in. Um, blue gem. Okay, blue gem. Now visit the coast. Stop. This is a crime scene. Try to learn what happened. Minus two reason. You managed to catch a glimpse of a corpse with a crushed head, blood and gores everywhere in the sand. Walking on the beach, you spot weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. It's... Drowner Sponge. There's a rumor about strange lights appearing in the sky around the lighthouse, however, after spending the night, you don't see anything unusual, minus one stamina. Can't shake the feeling that those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets, plus two percent doom. School explore now? You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Let's buy them around. They tell you tales of sunken cities inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. Oh. Okay, so we, we go to school now. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. Sudden noise behind the you stops you in your track. Oh, oh, a sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. Close the door. You walk to the door and try to close it, but something is blocking it. When you look up, you see a ghostly pale hand holding the door. Prepare for combat. Oh, God damn it! Toilet ghost. Mental. Toilet ghost, leave this place! Corpse dust. Plus 20 experience, but minus 2 luck. You enter the art classroom. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Check out the sculpture. Its head, the skull, come off. Gem is vibrating in your pocket. What do I do with it? Just keep exploring.
Okay, so hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. First glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. The gem is doing the things again, chat. Pick up the book. Plus item, library book. You need an empty corridor event. Biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first, so you switched the lights on. Gasp and horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in her hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde from... There's a jar of... <laughs> of fromunda cheese on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea cr uh, creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. That's a very bad hit chance. <sighs> Lump of flesh. Trail going, uh, growing cold. It might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Study the local newspapers. Minus 3% doom, plus 10 XP. It is a bit early for yamming. I agree. <laughs> Look at this face! Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. Talk to her. Plus 10 experience. Just gonna keep investigating. Yeah, I never used my bite action. Minus one reason. Oh, oh, here it is, the corridor. Is that an alien? You can feel the blue gem in your pocket begin to vibrate. You reach for it, but stop when you catch a glimpse of a face in the window. Doesn't look like I can do anything except resolve. Okay, now I gotta go to the forest. Walking through the woods. You discover a sweater. It's torn apart and covered in blood, but where is the owner? The blue ge gem is going mental. Assume the worst. Minus two reason. I might need to, like, rest for a bit. Okay, so you have a feeling that you're being watched when you hear a branch snapping. You quickly turn around. There's someone standing in the trees, just a few meters away. Confront. Charisma check failure. The decomposing skin and vacant stare can only mean one thing. It's a corpse someone has propped up. The idea that someone could do it so close to you and so quietly makes you shudder. Wet splash behind you makes you stop. You slowly turn around to see a young girl slowly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor with a wet splash. Dropping, sorry, drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get lost in thoughts. Minus two stamina. There was, um, a hole! Oh. Ah. 
parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Minus two reason. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? I know about the blue gem. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Locations, threat level increases. I just have to hit the right event, whatever that may be. Suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual. Minus two stamina. <laughs> what you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. Ah, oh, it's sport! Keep going. In the forest, you hear a faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get closer. Is this a Resident Evil 4 reference? Help the dog. The animal follows you. I dog! Higher chance of finding items after combat. Look at him, he's so cute. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There, you spot three men, each armed with a rifle. They're obviously looking for someone or something. Run. Plus ten experience. Is there anything that would help me with this ending? Luck and maybe an uh, folklore. Following the ghastly music, you find yourself in a forest. The sound is getting closer. Ribcage woman. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Ignore the current inv event and instantly investigate a random other world location. Huh. Minus two reason. Uh oh. Ah! You've noticed a strange pattern in which your blue gem vibrates. Entering this forest has caused it to vibrate so violently that you can barely hold it in your hand. It suddenly gets very dark. It's aliens. It's a Silent Hill reference. <laughs> Later, you wake up aboard spaceship. The Xenoshiba captain explains to you that Earth is doomed and that they are abducting exceptional individuals to repopulate a new planet. Your new space adventure will continue in Galaxy of Horror, coming soon. <laughs> That's great. I mean, I've unlocked a new achievement. You didn't notice the name of the ship you were on. What was the name of it? The Wolf Stromo? <laughs> it's an alien reference. That's perfect. That's great. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, very good 
very good bonus content so anyway that's the friday the 13th world of horror stream i will not be showing art because i'll probably be back in about an hour or maybe a little less i'm just going to figure out what i want to do for vr so you know if you want you can stick around and you know you'll randomly get another streamer in a minute i know this is a little different than usual but i just want to get everything set up vr is one of those things that you know i need to take some time to set up and make sure i have the games i want to play and it might be a social thing it might not i'm not sure yet so if you want you can wait here and it will take you to um, some other streamers, and then I'll be back in maybe 45 minutes to an hour. So stick around for a little bit. Thank you for watching. World of Horror was a lot of fun. And if you're wondering about Bug Snacks and Call of Duty and all that stuff, Bug Snacks, I may check out next week. Just be aware of that. I've seen some gameplay of it. I don't know what the fuck it is entirely yet, but it looks like it might be a good stream. And, uh, hell, I have a new hard drive just for Call of Duty. Well, not just for Call of Duty. I don't even really think I'm going to be all that into this particular one. Modern Warfare was a surprise. I didn't even think I would like that. But, um, V-Dub might like it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, stick around if you want. Otherwise, see you in about an hour. Autohost will take you to my mods, my friends, and other good streamers that you may enjoy. Thank you, everybody. Catch you in a bit, and Friday the 13th is over on the East Coast, but for everyone else, stay safe.